Well, during the e referendum, I just turned 16, so I didn't get to the chance to vote in the first place. And in lots of people that I know didn't get a chance, so uh, we weren't really involved in the entire process. We heard lots of statistics being thrown about on the news um, by both sides, and people took both sides. Well, people took either side, but you didn't really have a perfect picture of to what was going to happen in the first place. So no, I didn't feel involved at all. No, um, I didn't personally. I was denied a vote by the UK government. They decided not to allow 16, 17 year olds to vote. Um, I think that definitely was a disadvantage to them as well as the whole country um, with the result. Um, I feel that quite often we were listened to, but it was kind of like, oh yeah, no, that's that done, now we don't need to listen. And personally, I've got quite like, when the date of the referendum was announced, I had like a sliver of optimism that, oh, if the interest vote to 16, I'll literally just make it. And then it didn't happen. <laughs> and so I feel that that missed the whole opportunity to like, have young people listen to by not allowing 16, 17 year olds to vote. Um, I think their voices were heard, but, but they weren't like listened to, if you know what I mean. So like they were able to get their opinions out there, but it wasn't something that was seriously considered um, during the debate. I'm genuinely happy with the result of the recent European referendum. I believe this has given the UK um, more opportunities to compete in a wider market. Um, well, I don't really have a strong opinion on the results since I wasn't involved in the first place. Um, I feel that the result consequences hasn't been seen yet because lots of the politicians themselves don't even know what was happening when the call for a e referendum was being done in the first place during the negotiation stage. So. I think the results could have large impacts on many young people around my age and the near future. I feel really disappointed because 16 and 17 year olds didn't get their voice heard and overwhelmingly we, we would have voted to remain and this, this would have um, affected the results of the referendum and we wouldn't be in this situation and we're the ones going to have to deal with the future. Um, 10, 20, 30 years, and overwhelmingly my constituents um, would have voted to remain.